Let's add custom dimensions to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding the custom dimension. Finally, it has arrived, and it's actually straightforward to add it, to customize it. Well, that's a different issue, that's a little more complicated, but I will actually show you a great tool that you can use to, well, further customize your dimension after you have basically imported it. So what do we need inside of the world package? Right click new package and this is the dimension package. Inside of there we're going to right click new Java class called mod dimensions. And then inside of here we need two fields. The first one is a public static final registry key of type world. This one right here net Minecraft world. And this is going to be called the kg dim underscore dimension underscore key. So this is going to represent basically, well, sort of the key, the name of the JSON file in a little bit that we're going to add that basically houses all of the different variables that encompass this dimension. This is equal to registry key dot of registry dot world key comma and then a new identifier tutorial mod dot mod ID comma and then a string. And this is going to be the name kg dim. So this is going to be the name of the actual dimension. And then we also need a public static final registry key of type dimension type. This is going to be the kg dim underscore type underscore key. And this is equal to registry key dot of registry dot dimension type key. And then we're going to just pass in the kg dim dimension key dot get value so that we basically have the same name for both the dimension type as well as the actual dimension. We also want to add a public static void register method just so that we have this. And in my case, I'm just going to say tutorial mod dot logger dot debug. And then we're just going to say registering mod dimensions for tutorial mod dot mod ID. This is not strictly necessary. I just like that the register method does anything rather than it just being an empty method. So then we're going to call this right here at the bottom of the tutorial mod class constructor. So we're just going to say the mod dimensions dot register. And now our dimension is registered. Of course, we still need to add the JSON files. So those are under the data folder tutorial mod. Then we're going to right click new directory called dimension and then a new directory called dimension underscore type. Let's copy over the JSON files. Those are available to you in the description below. Get a repository and individual just as well. So what's going to happen here is that we have a dimension type. So you can see where we can basically well, define a few things that this dimension has. We can define the height, minimum y, you know, other things as well, ambient light, things like that. So for example, we can say, hey, you know, beds don't actually work on this dimension. And that's, you know, one thing that we can basically demonstrate. Then in our dimension JSON, here at the type, we actually want the other type. So we want tutorial mod colon kg dim. So this then refers to the dimension type that we've defined right here. The rest of the JSON file basically concerns itself with sort of how this particular dimension generates. So you can see we have a generator, right? We're using noise, basically using overworld settings and just having one biome, which is going to be the plane spine. Now, how do you change this, right? How would you basically go about and, well, customizing this? Well, for that, I have a great website once again this is missold github io once again for the dimension as well as the dimension type so the dimension type you saw it really only has these different fields that you can change there's not that many things that you can change here but you know overall it should be fairly self-explanatory most of these things and you can also hover over this and basically see okay what does this mean and that should be pretty much all that you really need when it comes to the dimension itself that can be way more complicated than the dimension type so you can see for the generator, you basically have the option between super flat and default. Debug world is not something that you should add as a dimension type, really. That's uh, definitely something that is literally only for debugging. The generator settings here, of course, you can do overworld or caves and floating islands. So there's a few options right here and you can also do it inline and that will basically give you way more options as well that you can basically change here so you can see you can have a default block that may replace stone. You can see there's ore veins. You can you know, add those or not. You can have a default fluid, right? You have noise options. So, you know, the minimum height where it starts generating maximum height. You have, I mean, you can see there's quite a few things that you can basically change. There's also terrain shapers. I'm not 100% sure about this. Highly recommend playing around with this. Noise router, similar thing. You can see that there's a lot of stuff that you can play with. It can be quite complicated though. Same with the surface rules. Surface rules, I'm just going to quickly add one thing here. You can see it can get quite complicated. So you can have a rule, you can have certain properties in here. I don't know if it's going to 
suggest anything. It's not going to suggest anything, but you can basically say there's a condition if this is a particular biome. So you can see you can add a lot of stuff. The surface rules are really the main issue with the biome because this is a way that you can basically add a custom biome as well. So if you have a custom biome, you could add it to your dimension and that wouldn't mess about with the overworld. However, the surface rules, right, so basically customizing your custom biome can be quite complicated as you already see with the custom dimension. Uh, so yeah, the reference probably going to be the best thing. Uh, once again, highly recommend you have to play around with this a little bit to basically get your own thing. But that is pretty much all that you do. Then you have the JSON file right here. You can just copy it and then basically paste it in to the JSON files right here. Of course, once again, make sure that the name right here, the KG DIM, is the same as this one right here. And then because we're using the same name right here with the get value, right, this is just going to return the identifier here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, this is just going to return the identifier here. It's going to have the same name, so this name also has to, uh, has to be basically the same as this name. That is pretty much all that you need to do. So let's make a new world and see if it works. Once again, you're going to be greeted with the experimental settings right here. No worries, we're just going to say proceed and then we're going to be fine. If you get the error with the data pack, there's, you know, we have to launch in safe mode. Then you have a typo somewhere in your JSON files in the data folder. So please take a look at that then and then you're going to be fine. But for us, let's see if our dimension works. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft. So how can we now enter our dimension? Well, we have to actually use the execute command and we can have to say execute in. And then you can see tutorial mod KG dim. So it actually already has recognized our custom dimension. I'm going to say run TP, then our player, and then just at this position. And then we're going to see we're now in our custom dimension. So we can press F3 and you can see it's planes biome and tutorial mod KG dim. Okay, very interesting. So this should also, by the way, be all planes biome. So everything here is planes biome, including the, um, you know, quite, I mean, fairly large ocean, all things considered. That's actually, that's, that looks really cool. Um, and we can basically also take a look at the following. Let's just get a bed and let's see if the bed works. It does not. Therefore, you can clearly see that we are in our custom dimension. So everything working as expected, everything is a planes biome. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much how easy it is to add a custom dimension to Minecraft. Right, and as you can see, that's pretty much how easy it is. I highly recommend checking out the next tutorial in the series because there we're going to add a custom portal as well, which is going to make the, you know, dimension transition way, way cooler. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. So, yeah.